everybody, I am just Lance and I would like to welcome all of you back for another video. Anyways, if you watched my last video, I went ahead and mentioned the video that I wanted to do next, which is this one. Um, I was just waiting for something. Anyways, we'll get to what I was waiting for here in a moment. Today, we're going to have ourselves a good old fashioned razor shootout. It is going to be one of the first in a series of three videos, which are going to be um, the Fat Boy versus the uh, different tips super speeds. Um, the first one, this one, is going to be the Fat Boy versus the uh, Gillette Fat Boy versus Gillette Blue Tip Super Speed. The next one will be the Fat Boy versus the Flare Tip Super Speed. And the final one will be the Fat Boy versus the Red Tip Super Speed. Um, here's the Fat Boy. This is a 1959 second quarter. Right now it's set on setting three. And the second pass will be on setting two and the third pass will be on setting one. And of course, here's the 1956 first quarter Gillette Blue Tip Super Speed. This is the most mild, it is the most mild of the um, Gillette Super Speeds. The soap is going to be, I figure since we're going to have a good old uh, fashioned razor shootout, we might as well use a soap that kind of fits that theme and it is this one, Wild West Soaps. Um, this is their Lewis and Clark. This smells really cool. I can't remember what the notes are. I think it's like a couple of woodsy notes, but it just smells great. It's not a real hard soap. It's medium softness, probably, maybe a little softer. It's not real robust, but it's got a good scent. I will be, I've scooped some out and placed it here in my Castle Forbes empty Castle Forbes shaving cream tub. So I'll go ahead and I'll load, load the brush in there. And the brush is the AP Shave Co. 24 millimeter tuxedo set in the AP Shave Co. Ruby Ripple Handle. This here is very similar, this part down here and this part up here. It's very similar to the Razor Rock barber handle brushes except for they have an extra ridge right here on the um, razor rock the handles pretty much are the same height in the brush you know with the loft and everything just as tall as the plus on um, it's got all these different colors in it my girlfriend sat on one side she was looking at and she could swore she saw the face of a fish um, you know, I don't know. I don't see it. Of course, it's kind of hard to, but to me, it's just a dark color brush and I can see a little bit of, a little bit of a, I don't know, kind of the coloring, but I just really like it. It feels really good in the hand. It's a nice weight. That brush was $20 and some change. Shipping was six something from Ottawa, Canada. Um, And it just got here very, very quickly. I received it today. Okay, so anyways, let's go ahead and... Oh, by the way, the blades in the razors both are brand new uh, Gillette Silver Blues. So let's go ahead and let's get this here. I've heard some good things about these uh, tuxedo knots. I This will be my first... This is my first tuxedo knot brush. Um, if it performs well, it probably won't be my last. So, squeeze the excess water out. And, oh, got a little bit of soap here on my hand. I need a little bit of something on my hand. So, let's go ahead and let's load. As you start working the soap, it releases the scent a little bit. Um, the razors, both, 
came from the same person. You know who you are. If you saw my What's in the Box video, you would, or I can't remember if it was my What's in the Box. I think it was my What's in the Box video. Um, you'd know who I got them from. Um, but the most important thing is, is he knows who he is and he knows I'm very appreciative. The soap comes from another person. Um, and you know who you are as well, my friend. Oh yeah. A little bit of a thirsty soap. Not real bad, not real thirsty, but That's a nice load right there. We'll see how this brush performs on the face. What was that? Oh, okay. Get out my hands real quick. Oh yeah, it feels very nice, got some good backbone. Yeah, on the AP Shapeco website, they got some, I mean, he doesn't have, you know, brushes like what you're going to get if you go to, say, Razor Rock, or Italian Barber, I mean. But, uh, one more one. But, uh, He's got some neat ones. He's got some I'm interested in. But this is pretty much my last brush until I get my custom, which I'm saving for. Through Frugal Aaron over there on Frugal Shades. Nice leather. Yeah, I like the brush, the face fill, it's nice. Got a nice backbone. So yeah, so far I'm happy with it. I like it so far. So, okay, left side of the face, going with the 59 second quarter fat boy on setting three. Lock that handle down. Yeah, if you've never messed with one of these before, you can go ahead and you can give these. That feels good. You can go ahead and you can give these. Doors a quarter turn twist and uh, that 
locked it down. Not enough. Stipple down. Pretty good. Nice feedback too. try the blue tip. The blue tip is a much lighter, well, I don't know if it's major amounts lighter, but the weight difference is noticeable. And it's a super speed, so it's a bit taller than uh, the fat boy, or a bit shorter. And it's got this aluminum handle, so... Very similar. As far as the way the aggression fills. Um, seems to be knocking it down very well. One thing I don't like about super speeds is sometimes the doors, the butterfly doors will pop open on you because they don't have that quarter turn twist. Okay, I'm going to off real quick. Yeah, me and my girlfriend we went ahead, even though we're watching my two-year-old grandniece, or great-niece, grandniece, great-niece, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Um, we're kind of celebrating, well, kind of had a little bit of an early thing, uh, not Thanksgiving, Valentine's dinner. Um, Picked up a ribeye roast and made up a marinade and we ended up uh, marinating it overnight. Well, not all night, overnight, but all day. And uh, yeah, this thing applies a lot, they're pretty good. But, uh, I'm going to marinade and which is extremely easy, you know, just mix yourself up some, pour some vinegar, and soy sauce, add some seasonings, uh, freshly minced garlic. That's your garlic powder, seasoned salt, a little bit of black pepper, um, chili powder, and Louisiana, Louisiana style hot sauce for spice, a little bit of mustard, you know, yellow mustard, um, some Worcestershire sauce, and some other, other spices and Mix that all up, a little bit of honey, uh, which is the one ingredient I forgot while it was out, so couldn't quite add it. Um, yeah, that's a good lather. A little bit of honey and go ahead and, you know, into a, you know, mix it all up really good in a bowl and pour it into a, a plastic Ziploc over your meat. Now, if you've never used one of these Gillette adjustables, you always crack the doors 
You don't even need to open them that far. Just crack them open and then set your adjuster. So that's on setting two. So here we go. And then uh, adjust it. Because if you try to adjust it on the um, with the door shut, you're going to screw it up. You're going to stress the mechanism. Your blade may not, you know, your blade's going to bind up possibly. So, you know, it's just the scenario you want to avoid binding that blade. But, uh, yeah, we had the, the marinated strips. We cut the roast up into strips, and I marinated the roast, you know, whole. And my girlfriend, she cut it into strips, and then uh, we got a little electric indoor outdoor grill. Threw it on there, or threw, threw them on there. And then my son, he's a big steak fan, and two year olds, they're not quite coordinated enough yet to or not the easiest thing for them to eat steak, so. Let's cut up in real big pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, setting two, the fat boy almost feels like it's getting too mild for me. Like it's getting too mild. So, hang on here. But of course, the blue tip, it doesn't, you know, it's not being adjusted. So, you know, it's, it's not changing its blade angle or blade gap. So, now it's down on one, the most mild setting. And that pretty much very 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 little blade gap there let's do a quick paint on oh, i do I, I, I like this brush it's nice um i really do yeah tomorrow my brother and i were gonna Unless something happened where he couldn't get the ticket. WWE Smackdown Live is coming to my town. So, if you're a Smackdown fan. Um, it's, you know, Monday, February, what? 10th, 11th, whatever the date is. No, 12th, excuse me. It's Monday, February 12th. So, I probably won't get this video uploaded tomorrow. It'll probably be like Wednesday. But, um, so, if you're a WWE fan and you want SmackDown Live, then you'll get, you know, who knows? Maybe you'll see me on there, or at the very least, you'll be able to figure out where I live what town I live in. Okay, so here we go. Fat boy on setting one against the grain. But, uh, 
and my dog Herbie who we all got to see in the last video last video he's pretty much he's pretty much held up um right now it's more the what do you call it recovery stage or rehab stage I guess I don't know but his vet just take him like wasn't like yeah sure go ahead harness him up take him wherever um, Yeah, this is blue. This that blue I'm saying was almost too mild for me, but that's me. I definitely would not go after a four or five. Day growth with either the fat boy here on one or the blue tip because that would just be way too freaking mild. But I don't know, maybe if I was gonna, you know, if I shaved the night the day or the night before and I just wanted a really quick mild shave yeah I could see where the blue tip or the fat boy would come in very very handy the fat boy I'm saying one um, I, mean, I mean the blue tip's a comfortable razor to use um, but since it's mild, it, it's going to be a good razor to you know, put sharper blades in. Um, that Mamba with a Wilkinson sword. Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Blade. That's a nice pairing right there. Which I use that here on um, last shave. And man. It was a very, very nice shave. Very comfortable. Just, I don't know, nice. I was watching Ken, like shaving and BSing. Um, I like him. Um, he's cool. Uh, fellow wrestling fan, fellow wrestling fan, WWE fan. So to me, it's all all right. It's all good to me. But, uh, last video I saw, oops, he was using a, or distilled water. The last video I heard the video before. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off real quick. Um, you can come back and check and see if I need any touch-ups anywhere. Um, be back in a minute. Okay, so let's see here. Um. But yeah, Ken was using, oh, a little bit right there. 
distilled water. Um, you know, soaked his brush in probably in distilled water. I'm not sure if he did in distilled water. Um, but used it to help build his ladder, la lather. And, uh, he got pretty decent lather off the soap he was using. And I know it's because uh, where he lives there in Texas, um, I think he said something about the water's just real hard. And uh, here where I live, we got some hard water. And I've never once thought, man, I need to use some distilled water. Um, <laughs> Uh oh, I went all the way to the left side. No! My fat boy screaming at me. Saying that was my that was my meat. That was my meat. You just shaved away. Um, but anyways, um So I thought, yeah, you know what, the residual slickness of this Wild West, it's it's pretty darn good. I didn't even need to apply leather. It. It's just a little bit of cleanup, but yeah, I'd say that once the fat boy gets down to two and one, it's almost too mild for me. Um, and of course, like I said, the blue tip, I'm not changing the blade angle or blade exposure by cranking it up or down. Um, so, so I'll go ahead and I'll do my head shave with the fat boy on three and the blue tip of course, you know, leave it as it is. <laughs> um, well how are you gonna go ahead and change the angle on the blade or the adjustment if it's not adjustable there Lance? Um, but anyways, yeah, I'll go ahead and, you know, um, use the blue tip here on this side and the fat boy on three over here. And I'll go ahead and let you all know how the results are. Like I said in an earlier video before, I'm not using uh, alum on my face anymore unless I have a really rough shave. And it's a pretty good shave. Anyways, so, um, see you all in a minute. That was an absolutely outstanding mm. shave. Um, face, baby butt smooth. My head, baby butt smooth. Um, the fat boy performed beautifully on three. Hmm. Got a little, to me, it felt like it wasn't quite a Efficient at two and one, um, which is a no-brainer, of course. But I thought that the blue tip did better, was more efficient, and was knocking the hairs down better um, than the Fat Boy was with the Fat Boy on two and one. But with the Fat Boy on three, pretty much the shaves were pretty identical as far as the. Um, efficiency and smoothness and all that so yeah um probably a little bit more mild than the blue tip once you hit you know settings two and two and one um but three yeah pretty 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 dead nuts right there between um the fat boy and the, and the blue tip um the soap everything you want in the soap i mean slickness was there Glide cushion. Um, I haven't apply, uh, applied any post shave products other than water to my face and my head, and they feel pretty good. They feel pretty good. Um, I don't feel dried out. Um, it's not the most moisturizing soap I've ever had, but I mean, it's it's not bad. Um, it, it worked really well. The scent was great. Um, so it did good. And the star of the party, the 24 millimeter 
um, AP Shave Co. Tuxedo Knot in the ruby red in the ruby ripple handle. Um, I really like that brush. Um, backbone was great. The 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 tips they were pretty soft. Um, I really liked them. Um, you know, so I mean it's just a great brush. I'm very very happy I got it. Um, instead of that yak instead of one of the yakis um, because you know like I said in the last video um, when I saw the different size knots for tuxedos that they were selling uh, you know it made me question if they was really putting tuxedo knots in their yaki brushes or if they were tuxedo pipe knots but um, so going straight to AP Shave Co. I think was the best, was the wise choice. Um, I'm very happy with that purchase. Anyways, so let's go ahead and let's move on to the post. Oh, oh, real quick, one thing I wanted to, I wanted to do at the beginning of the video, considering that, you know, it's, uh, you know, um, a, a razor shootout is this. Do -do 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 Anyways, um, first off, Dickinson with Chazel. If I could whistle well, I would have whistled it, but, you know, I suck at whistling. Um, I just, you know, Mae West says just put your lips together and blow. Um, in case you're not familiar with who she was, she was a hottie um, for that time period. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, you know, I tried and I don't get, I, I don't whistle real loud. Uh, so if I was trying to whistle to draw attention to, you know, a bunch of people to save my life, uh, I'd probably end up dying. <laughs> anyways, so that was that. Next is Nivea Post Shave Balm. I'm almost out of this. Gonna need to get another. Friday went in, got my teeth worked on, got a deep cleaning on the upper right quadrant. Um, the lady cleaning them, she said, you know, I oh, missed a couple little spots back there. Oh well, screw it. Um, she said, you yeah, know, we're going to do what we can to save your teeth, but, you know, it's just a stopgap measure. They're going to go. They're going to go eventually. I was like, yeah, I know, I know. Um, it's not that I ne purposely neglected my teeth. It's just when you're on disability and you, you know, rely on certain programs such as Medicaid for your medical bills. You know, they, they, they run the show. They tell you what they will or will not cover. And for the longest time, they didn't quite cover a lot of dental stuff like they do now, which is, you know, kind of stupid because, you know, you do a little bit of work here and there, it's going to save a whole lot of work later on, and they're starting to cover more now than what they used to. Uh, the aftershave is going to be Panat Clubin. I absolutely fell in love with this scent. Mm, it's got some burn. Saw a question on one of the Facebook groups today asking night shavers, which these shaves usually always are at night because, you know, when you got a four year old, he likes to come in and hang out with me when I shave, which is cool and all, but, you know, a four year old, they like to ask a lot of questions and I'll have them in from time to time. Shave during the day and have him in from time to time. He's a cute kid. Um, that way he can bless you all with his witty personality, but, um, <laughs> it was about applying aftershave, do you or don't you, and I'm like, oh. always it's part of the ritual and routine, 
of, of wet shaving besides my girlfriend. You know, she likes the smell of some of my aftershaves. She really likes this Clubman. She's sleeping right now, but mm, I like it. She likes it. Anyways, so that's the shave. Uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Anyways, um, not quite sure what we'll do in the next shave, but, you know, um, we'll go ahead and, and do something. Anyways, uh, hope y'all are doing well. I hope y'all have been doing, have been doing well, um, and are doing well. And I'll see y'all on the next shave. Bye-bye, and I'll see you all on the flip side of the blade.